Lesson 11.4, Areas of Regular Polygons. So we've actually been building up to this, gets back to some more significant geometry. Uh, we're going to take this and go places too, but what's a regular polygon? All the sides are equal, and all the angles are equal. So let's find a formula for all regular polygons. And it sounds nice, but the reality is you're, you're going to have to do a lot of work. So take a circle and inscribe a polygon. I'll do a hexagon. Perfect, but not that bad. And what's the center of the polygon? What's the center of the circle? What's the radius of the polygon? It's radius to a vertex or to the circle and hits the circle on the edge. What's the central angle? Well, we need another radius. And the central angle, we can draw like this, is theta. This messes a lot of people up. They don't understand what that is. That's just a Greek symbol means angle. We use Greek symbols in math to represent angles. So central angle is theta. And that's the angle between radii. And finally, the apothem is drawn right down the middle. from center to center of side. This angle would be theta over two. This would be the radius. This will be a side, and this will be a side over two. And I bring that up because we have a triangle. We know how to find the area of that triangle. So I have to skip down, you're gonna lose sight of the picture. I'll redraw the triangle. Now you have to actually go find the apothem using the theta over 2. For our purposes right now, we won't. And we have a side. We know that there are six triangles like this in the hexagon. So n equals 6. There's six triangles. Or just n. Number of triangles. The area of this triangle is one half a times s, but the area of all the triangles is s times n. So there's six triangles, it's six times that. This quantity is the perimeter. There's our formula. It's half the product of the Apothem and the perimeter. Now that was really fast. And I can't possibly over recommend that you do these problems by understanding what the triangle that you're dealing with is.
So here's two examples. Just did this, a regular hexagon. If I know this is nine, this angle theta, there's six triangles and it's 360 once around, equals 60 degrees. So again, the apothem's nine. This would be 30 degrees, so this would be 60 degrees. So we need to figure that out. That's across from the short side. To get there, I go nine divided by root three, which is nine root three over three, which equals three root three. So the whole side is six root three, because there's two of them. So if we go back to the little formula we had, one half, nine, there's six sides, six times six root three is the perimeter. We should get 162 root three. Another way to do it, this is six root three across the bottom, nine. The area of this triangle is equal to 27 root three, and there's six of them times six. Look at that, we get the same exact answer. Which way is better? Well, that's entirely up to you. My point is just don't do it blindly. Know what you're doing. Try the nonagon on your own. And now I'll do it. Draw your triangle and draw it nice and big. Not at all the scale. They tell us the radius is 10. Theta equals 360 over 9. So this is 20 degrees. So now we need a calculator. Because I can't figure that out without it. So the apothem is... Let me write it out properly. Cosine of 20 degrees equals the apothem over 10. Apothem equals 10 cosine of 20. Get the calculator out. Make sure it's in degrees. Get 9.4. Got to figure out the length of the side. We'll call this x for the time being. Sine of 20 equals x over 10. x equals 3.4. We'll put x up here so I can do this. Whole side. is equal to 6.8. So area equals one half, 9.4, nine sides times 6.8, 287.6. Very complicated stuff. Draw a picture, draw a big picture. Know where all the angles come from, know where all the sides come from, know how to get them, know that we're dealing with perimeters, so whatever we have, multiply it up by the number of sides. Very complicated. Good luck.